Liberia, my people. Father, father, it's been a very long time since we talked about Liberia. Can you guys imagine? I'm sorry, Jari, my Liberian people. And this particular story actually happened in October of last year, I believe. But we still have to talk about it, especially for the sake of those of us that don't live in Liberia, those of you that are not following Liberia news. You must hear something. Ladies and gentlemen, something just happened. Please meet 19-year-old Emmanuel Tolu. Emmanuel dropped out of school at the age of nine in order to earn some money and help his family. So it was really hard for his family to take care of him. And this was shortly after his dad died in a drowning accident. We are not sure about his mom, what's happening, but we know that he had to go and live with his aunt. And then he became a motorbike driver some years after that, taking care of himself, barely making ends meet. As a matter of fact, he didn't even own the motorbike that he was driving. He was lending it to hustle. He would drive it when his friend is not using it. But in October of last year, he was biking when he found a plastic bag by the roadside filled with cash. We're talking about a mixture of US dollars and Liberian dollars. The whole amount of money totaled $50,000. He had no idea who owned the money. He could have easily said, wow, this is a divine provision. You know what I mean? This is an answer to prayer. He could have gone and do like Thanksgiving to celebrate what God has done. Amen, somebody. I mean, he found the money. But guess what he did? He gave this money to his aunt to keep for him until he could find the owner. I was like, wow, even in this age, we have people like that. And he didn't even say he want to borrow some of it. You know how some people would do. Let's just maybe $500, you know, just to keep buddy together until we find the owner and then we can, you know, hopefully they will repay us now. They should give us some kind of reward. So let's just take something out of it until we find the owner, you know. <laughs> and sure enough, one day he had a woman pleading on the radio that she lost 50,000 US dollars, begging anybody that finds the money to please return it. And guess what? Emmanuel took this bag with the full amount intact in order to meet this woman and return her money. Un jour je passais, j'ai entendu des gens discuter de cet argent et la femme qui pleurait et suppliait la personne qui avait trouvé l'argent de le rapporter. Je suis retourné voir ma tante et je lui ai dit l'argent que je t'ai donné, il le demande et nous l'avons rendu à cette femme. Do you know that people made fun of him? People called him stupid. They called him a fool. Some people said it would take an angel of God to grab their money out of their hands. People hated him. Like literally people abused him for returning somebody's money back to them. They told him that God buttered his bread. God answered his prayer, but then he gave it away. They said, how could you? But that's not the end of Emmanuel's story. This woman gave him $1,500 as a reward, cooked for him, even made him pepper soup. She was so happy. She thanked him. People, when they heard about his story, they started donating money for him. Also, lawmakers in Liberia heard about Emmanuel and they invited him to meet with the leadership of the House of Representatives. The president, George Weir, also heard about Emmanuel and gave him $10,000 cash. Oh, and on top of that, he bought him two motorcycles. Somebody that didn't have one now has two and gave him a full scholarship so that he could go back to school. They gave him scholarship up to master's level at the most prestigious schools in Liberia. He's now back in school, primary school. I think he's in seventh grade. And guess what? A college in the U.S. heard about his story and offered him a full university scholarship once he's done with his secondary school education. I'm like, father, father. On top of all of that, the president, George Weir, made him the ambassador of integrity and they put him on a monthly salary of 500 US dollars. And then they have the promise that once he's done with school, that he can work at the president's office where he will get even more money as salary. And now big companies in Liberia are making him their ambassador, giving him money, giving giving him endorsements, including gadgets like brand new phones. So my people, you see why it is good to be honest no matter what, no matter your circumstance. I mean, it is good to be honest and be trustworthy. You know, he could have easily made excuses based on his financial status that he needed the money, but that was not his money. And he returned it. His message in different interviews that he's been granting, especially to young people, is that it is good to be honest and that do not take what does not belong to you. I was like, wow, in this age where so many people are not just dishonest, but feel entitled <laughs> to something that they did not work for, this young man showed us the importance of being honest. Even if he was not rewarded, he did the right thing. How many people would do that? Some of you watching me, would you do that? I mean, the rewards that he has got is way more than the money that he found by the roadside. Just the value of the education that he's getting alone. I mean, 
just the college education that he will be getting in America, the tuition, the feeding and accommodation, just that alone with plane tickets is way more than $50,000. Not to talk about the fact that he now has two brand new motorcycles that he can rent out while he's in school, you know what I mean, to be making extra money. And they put him on a $500 monthly salary with the promise of him working at the president's office when he's done. And on top of that, people have given him money, like left and right, people are donating money for him. They are endorsing him left and right. He's become an ambassador for so many companies. If he had taken that $50,000, that would have been it. And do you know at some point he would finish that money? You know, especially when people don't work for money or when people don't earn money and they are given the money, the way they spend it is like quickly, they, they spend it anyhow. But now he's set for life. I just feel like sometimes in life, the time that we are in need the most, that's when our character is tested the most. Like, I don't know, maybe you are in need of money, but they put you in a committee where you are the one in charge of money and it's doing like this, like this to your eyes. Stay true to who you are. Remain honest. Your own time will come. Also, if it's happening for people around you, maybe something that you have hoped for or worked for or something you've been praying for is happening for other people, be happy for them. Your own time would come. Amen, somebody. Now I'm preaching. <laughs> but for you, integrity is very important. You know, the funny thing is those that tried to stop him from returning the money because some people tried to stop him from returning the money. The people that called him a fool for returning the money, they are now celebrating him. And many of them are even saying that even they would have returned the money. Yeah, right. Let me know what you guys think about this story. We're so proud of Emmanuel. But would you have returned the money if it was you? Let me know in the comment section. You guys now don't know much. Guess what?